Ghana's car manufacturing potential is a topic I've been interested in on this channel. As Ghanaian local companies and individuals have seemingly shown glaring interest and prowess to be able to manufacture vehicles of all types. But this has however gone unnoticed and lacks any substantial investment backing to explore its potential. After Ghana's very own Kanzanka Automobile burst onto the scene, several illustrious self-taught designers and manufacturers have gone ahead to create their own models of vehicles fully functional and ready for study and production, which would change the landscape of car manufacturing in Ghana if explored. The latest of which is an illustrious manufacturer by the name of Kweku Sylvester, who has coined and built his own version of the modern Jeep Wrangler vehicle known as Buffalo Wrangler, which is extremely noteworthy. In today's video, I'll be covering the Ghanaian car manufacturing potential and this amazing design and manufacturing of the Wrangler prototype vehicle by Kweku Sylvester. Be sure to stick to this video to the end also before we go further be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more insightful content like this let's get into it in recent years many self-taught manufacturers have burst onto the scene the most notable of which is apostle safo kantanka who started it all inventor one and others who have followed suit now this leads us to this Ghanaian aspiring manufacturer kweku sylvester who originally hails from Asesewa in the eastern region of Ghana. He is hoping to make it big on the manufacturing scene. He has made a significant impact with his latest creation, the Buffalo Wrangler prototype. With this, he sets his sights to Accra, where he unveiled this remarkable creation, showcasing exceptional engineering prowess. He made it known that he has come to Accra to introduce a car he has crafted, which he is named Buffalo. He designed it with a specific purpose in mind for farmers, beach operators and touring. The car he has created is exceptionally robust and he is taking inspiration from the characteristics of animals in the design. He proudly stated, Sylvester's dedication to engineering and innovation extends beyond his automotive achievements though. He envisioned sharing his knowledge and skills with aspiring youth eager to explore the world of technology and engineering. He stressed the importance of support and investment from Ghanaian leaders to enable him mentor and guide others in the field. He's not just focused on cars, he has also created various machinery. He wants to showcase these talents to the leaders in the country and urges them to support him so he can teach others, especially young people interested in learning. That's why he's vehemently calling for investors. This is what he can achieve and more with all his efforts. He stated that he may not have large facilities, but he does have his welding machine. Sylvester, who identifies as a welder by profession, revealed that he built the entire vehicle from scratch when describing how he created his Buffalo Wrangler. Recognizing the need for technical expertise and collaboration, he enlisted the assistance of a mechanic to fine-tune certain aspects of the vehicle's performance. This goes to show that, when actually worked on with several professionals, we can actually get a very high-end vehicle produced right here in Ghana as well, aside the Kantanka Automobile, I might add. He crafted everything from the ground up, from the design to assembling the body and the engine. While he's not a mechanic, he managed to fit the body, after which he called in a mechanic for assistance. Later on, he took it for a test drive and realized the importance of proper alignment, which incurred significant cost. He invested his modest saving in bringing this car to life, thus his appeal to the leaders of the country to aid in this endeavor. This is substantive evidence that the Ghanaian youth via manufacturing of various forms of equipment and vehicles are eager for the opportunity to showcase what they can do in terms of manufacturing our very own vehicles. It is well to note that Kantanka Automobile once fine-tuned and refined a vehicle from Investor One, an also illustrious young man with a burning desire to manufacture vehicles, which would be more robust with further financial aid from the state. Now with this, we can see Ghana's car manufacturing has very very huge potential, which is yet to be explored. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like contents like this also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also turn on the post notification. Check out this video next on other massive projects and innovation going on right here in Ghana that would amaze you. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.